The following is a presentation on the Donnie Sports 17 Network. come true after this week is over after Monday night that is all 10 teams in the Big 12 are here getting ready to square off and get some hoop action going tonight the first game is Kansas versus Kansas State followed up by Iowa State and Texas Tech and here's some uh, news about the uh, Big 12 women's hoops going into this tournament Baylor is your uh, conference champions going into it and they go in into it with some buzz drive. Coach Kim Mulkey won the award for best coach. And uh, one of her players, Nico Davis, won the award for best best player in a Big 12, of, uh, Big 12 play this year. So a lot of things going on. So, of course, some teams there you might want to put your finger on and keep an eye on. Baylor's won. There you go. <laughs> There's one there is happy about that. Also, might want to keep your eye on uh, Iowa State tonight. They can do some things, so can Kansas. Also, Oklahoma. Sherry Cole's team's got some stuff going on, and they're going to try to put it on the line. As a matter of fact, they beat Baylor not that long ago last week. So just think about Oklahoma-Baylor matchup again. What? How do you think about that? Baylor, Oklahoma. What do you think? Woman's passing along. Anyway, lots of basketball action coming up for the next four days. But we got it going to begin with with Kansas and Kansas State. And coming up later on, press conference time as we hear from the coaches and players about tonight's Kansas and Kansas State game. Settle in. Welcome to March, welcome to Madness, and welcome to this special edition of the Donnie Sport Hoops Action and More show right here on the Donnie Sport 17 Network. Well, it was a tight one between the two teams from Kansas, but Coach Mitty's team got a late spurt and pulled away for a 57-49 win and sending Kansas home. So Coach Mitty's team will keep on playing as the Kansas State Jayhawks continue into the next round and we'll be interested to see what he has to say. The press conference is coming up next on the special edition of the Donnie Sport Hoops Action and More show from the American Airlines Center here in Dallas, Texas, right here on the Donnie Sport 17 Network. Off the first half and just not focus on my mistakes that I made and just try to improve on the second half and just take it one step at a time. On the front row. Uh, Brianna, can you talk about the the, uh, the first half? Uh, they didn't. They shot horribly. I think it was three for twenty-two. But did you feel like you missed a chance to really put this game away early? Um, no, I just I don't really try to focus on the things that I could have done better or should have done better. I just try to just improve on the next time. So I mean, I didn't feel like I missed out on any opportunity to score because that's not really what I'm really about. But I mean, I just wanted, I was just happy that we were up and just that we were playing well. Another question on the outside, right? Haley, Kristen Keith with the Big 12 Digital Network. This question's for Haley. What, what was Coach saying to you maybe in those last few timeouts as Kansas was starting to come back before you guys pulled away? Uh, just do the little stuff. I mean, we kind of, you know, came out of focus and we're kind of losing our heads towards the end and giving them open looks. But, you know, just stay calm, get yourself gathered, 
and play smart. Any more questions for our student athletes? We've got one in the middle. Thank you, Donnie Ernick, El Leader USA Newspaper. Uh, like you mentioned, this was a game both teams struggled early uh, on the first, but it took key baskets. Well, in a game like this, I like to call them grinder games, and I'm directing this to Haley. Uh, what do you rely on the most? The shooting, the defense, combination of both? Uh, what do you rely on to pull your group? Personally, I would say defense. Offense will take care of itself, but I'm pretty confident in our defense as a team and that when we really want to get after it, we get it done. And uh, that's what happened late in the game with Asha getting a couple of tips, you know, pressuring a couple of players, Kendrick, you know, being there to take the still and just being really amped up on our defensive end. Kristen Keith, Big 12 Digital Network again. Haley, this is the sweep, obviously, over Kansas three in a row. Talk to me about how this game compared to the other two. They're all the same. Every single one matters with them. Every, you know, second we, you know, pour our hearts out because it's not only just KU, it's our rival, and it's always nice to sweep them anytime we can. Last chance for our student athletes. Okay, ladies, we're going to let you go back to the locker room. We'll let Coach stay for a few more questions, and we'll take the questions for Coach Mitty. Start on the front right. Hey Jeff, Andy Freeman of the uh, Kansas City Star, and I uh, just want to ask you the same thing I asked them, is that as, as poorly as Kansas was shooting that first half, did you feel like you let a chance to get away to, what, what did you tell them at halftime about what was going to happen from, from that point? Well, foul trouble really impacted our rotation. You know, we felt like we were getting good stuff with Lou and early in the game, but then she had to sit a while, and Asha did too, so we got out of rhythm offensively. Um, Obviously, I thought our defense was good. We thought Kansas was going to make some shots. I think they were 0 for 6 in the first half from 3. And, we, you know, they're the percentage leader in the Big 12. So, you know, you're going to make some. We just talked to our group about uh, we same thing we always talked to them about, four minutes at a time. I think because of the emotion of the rivalry game in the mid part, we did kind of lose our discipline of the second half. Uh, Kristen, you asked about what we talked about, you know, we really talked to, I, I thought the middle dribble was hurting us, and then they were getting us rotating, and then they were kicking out. Aldridge got hot. They started to get more people involved. So we just talked about getting back to keeping the ball on one side of the floor. If we would do that, we'd be in rotation less and cover up on the shooters better. So that was really the message the last five, six minutes of the game. Transition D was also a part of that because they were catching us early. Aldridge got her first two looks on an early push and then a kick behind, and we just didn't do a very good job there. For the questions for Coach. We got a question on the front, then we'll go back to the third row. Uh, first, Bill Nichols, Dallas Morning News. Coach, the free throws. Obviously, you miss only one. How key was that, especially since it got close there toward the end? Well, it was big because uh, we were four for four in the first half. We didn't shoot a free throw until the last five minutes of the second half, and it was a big concern of ours because we were having trouble getting to the free throw line. But we got there late. Tejada got that thing started. Um, Osh got a big rebound tip that kind of got battered around that Lou got to the free throw line, but it was big to convert because uh, points, you know, you guys asked earlier about this game. When Tejada says they've all been the same, I mean, the scores are 58-52, the first one. The second one was, well, I don't even remember. What was the score, Jill? Anybody remember? 55-48. Okay, that was Randy Peterson from the Sports Information Department. 55-48. You can see the similarities right there, 57-49. I mean, these games have been grinding games. They have... Um, had many runs to them. They haven't had huge runs because both of us struggle offensively at times. And um, but they've been grinded games, and um, we're fortunate to come out on top end. But free throws played a big part in that. Question on the outside, right? Kristen Keith, Big 12 Digital Network again. Obviously, a short turnaround to tomorrow. That's the way the tournament is. But you've got number one Baylor tomorrow. How do you feel about that, and how do you prepare for that in the short turnaround? Well, beats the alternative. Okay, so. You know, that's this time of the year. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be playing tomorrow. Um, Baylor's a great basketball team. They have um, 
gone through that 18 game gauntlet and, and been Big 12 champion again. Um, so we know we have our hands full and we've got to play better than we've played today and we've got to play better than we played previously. But the beauty of March is you get that opportunity and we're looking forward to it. Anything else for Coach? All right, Coach, we're going to let you start working on a game plan for tomorrow. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Okay, that was Coach Jeff Mitty from Kansas State, along with Haley Texada and Brianna Lewis. Kansas State getting the win, 57-49, and they are moving on, and they have a tall order up against them. They're taking on conference champion Baylor in the next round, and uh, good luck to them. It's going to be a uh, tough battle when you take on the Baylor Bears, who, by the way, lost their final two games, so hopefully if you're a Kansas State fan, you're catching them at the right time, but we'll see. More of uh, the Big 12 Women's Basketball Classic coming your way. A special edition of the Donnie Sport Hoops Action and More Show. You're watching it right here on the Donnie Sport 17 Network.